Hey, what is going on, everyone? It's Max here, or Raw Instinct, bringing you another Gamers Guide series where we're going to be talking about everything outside the realm of Call of Duty and things that might be able to help you in real life. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about growing your YouTube channel. Now, I get this question just so much, and I just had to make a video about it, guys, because everyone just asked me about it. Uh, I have a lot of small subscribers out there who, um, you know, do a little YouTube commentaries, and a lot of people ask me, you know, I only have 100 subscribers, I only have 200 subscribers, and I just seem to be going nowhere. So I thought I would give back to my small community that I do have of about 60,000 people and uh, kind of give you guys some tips that I kind of use along the way while making my YouTube channel to really grow my videos and really promote myself. So um, before we get into it, first off, my prayers are going out to everyone who has lost loved ones during 9-11. This was a very sad time. I do not know of anyone who has lost loved ones during 9-11, but at the same time, my thoughts and prayers are definitely out to you guys. And second off, please make sure you like and favor the video. The last video didn't get, you know, an amazing amount of views like I usually do, but the likes, the favorites, were, and the comments were there, so I was very happy. So if we can do that once again, I, you know, I, I couldn't thank you guys enough. And lastly, if you have any um, questions or anything that I didn't touch up on in this video, please either PM me or leave a comment below, and I'd be glad to message you guys about it even more and maybe answer your question. So I'm going to be breaking it down into two subtopics today, which is content and networking. Now, first off, making content that stands out. T. Martin is a perfect example of what uh, this whole concept is behind. Now, he does not put out a video every other day, but rather maybe a video every three to five days. And uh, this goes for him, you know, this really works with him in a really great way. Now, T. Martin, a lot of people love his videos, and he's not spamming the sub boxes. So when a new video does come out, a lot of people have time to watch the video, and, the, the, you know, they won't have three to four videos of this guy a day. And not everyone has the chance to be on YouTube every day. So if you're a commentator and you're uploading maybe three to five videos a day and you're not seeing a lot of views, cut that in half or cut that, you know, in th you know by a third, and maybe upload one, th one video or two videos a day um, every two to three days, all right? Because not everyone, once again, has a chance to be on YouTube every day. Now, as far as equipment goes and commentating and making commentaries in HD videos, uh, first off, recording um, gameplay, I use a HD PVR. The other one that is really great is a Blackmagic Intensity Pro. I definitely, definitely do not suggest a Dazzle. I mean, this day and age, it's all about HD. You can't really get anywhere with standard definition. So once again, HD PVR or a Black Magic is going to be the best for record for recording all of your video game gameplay. Now, as far as recording commentary, I recently bought a, bought a Blue Snowball microphone, which in you know, which in the end, I'm really stupid that I didn't buy this a while ago because this microphone here is spectacular. But before this, I used a um, I used a Rock Band microphone, and that worked really well. So once again, you do not need a hundred dollar microphone, but it really does help make your quality of your voice just ten times better. Now, also, when commentating, make a script of things that you want to talk about. In this video here, I have a script of um, a few things that I want to talk about, which is content and networking. And I just, you know, I did little tallies down. I wrote a few things down just so I could, uh, you know, I can talk about a few things in that video and I wouldn't draw any blanks. Now, this is very important because commentators, or I should say subscribers who watch videos, you know, don't want to see their commentators really stalling and not knowing what they're talking about and trying to, you know, just keep rambling. But some people are very good at just keeping a conversation going. So if you're that type of person, then you'd probably be a very good commentator. Now, the last one or the last tip I have for you guys as far as content goes is making content that is relevant to the large audience. Now, I cannot stress this enough. I build my channel from zero to 60,000 subscribers all off of Call of Duty. And a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't you post FIFA gameplay or Need for Speed gameplay or maybe Battlefield gameplay? And the simple reason is my channel isn't a Battlefield gameplay. It's a Call of Duty channel and it's dedicated to Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, if I were to post a video of Battlefield or something like that, it'd probably get a third or fourth of the views, which I'm not too concerned about. But once again, you're going to get a large part of the audience saying, you know, where are the Call of Duty videos or where are, the, you know, where are all these videos that I want to see? So once again, make sure to stick to the large audience. In this case, it's going to be Call of Duty and it's going to be somewhat of the commentary scene. Lastly, which is networking, this is the last topic I want to get into. So networking. Now this is very important. You have to network yourself out there to, you know, first off, build subscribers, build your channel, and just kind of get known in the community. Um, this was very hard for a lot of people, and this is something that a lot of people don't think and don't don't put too much time into. So um, first off, making friends with other commentators around your same level. Now, a really, really great example of this is a group of commentators who kind of work together to help promote each other's videos, whether you see it or not, which is like Woody's Gamertag, uh, T. Martin, 
I think there's maybe like Bash in there, Onslaught. A few of those guys really work together to kind of promote each other out a little bit. And from there, they all kind of grew together in a really big way. You know, Woody's Gamertag, I think, almost has 500,000 subscribers. Onslaught, T. Martin, they're up in the 100, 200,000, 300,000 range. So, I mean, if you can work with other commentators to build your channel, that is just a definitely just a big thumbs up. And that's something that's going to go a very long way for you. And the last two things as far as networking goes is boxer boxing and dual commentaries. Now, I know I wouldn't suggest doing too much boxer boxing because for the most part, you're going to build a lot of inactive subscribers and you're not going to get a load of subscribers. You might get maybe 50 to 100 a month if you're in a really good sub box. Uh, I have a few people in my sub box who are my friends. I have some people that I just met and things like that. But for the most part, everyone in my sub box is people that I play with and not too much people that I'm trying to promote. Lastly is dual commentaries. Now, dual commentaries were a great thing maybe six to eight months ago, but nowadays, you know, dual commentaries don't get you as far as they would um, nowadays. I mean, if maybe if you did a dual commentary with someone who has maybe above 50,000 subscribers, you'll see a very nice increase of traffic into your channel. But at the same time, uh, you know, just too much people have did dual commentaries in the past, and it's something that I wouldn't really recommend. But in the, something new that I would recommend doing is maybe like a cross video promotion, where you might take a video from your channel, post it on, you know, your friend's channel, and your friend can post a video on your channel, and you guys can kind of work off each other's subscribers. So if you guys have any questions, this video was uh, to try to hit some of the main topics. Um, leave a comment below. I'll answer any questions you guys may have, but also make sure you like and favorite the video. It helps me out a ton, and I can't stress it out enough. I know people hate when I ask for it, but uh, if you want to, like it or dislike it, and if you really did like it, favorite it. So other than that, guys, have a great day. It's Raw Unsing. I'm signing out, and peace.